Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do if your iPhone won't turn on. So, your iPhone won't turn on but keeps showing a black screen. It doesn't respond whether you touch or tap the touch screen several times. You try charging it, but the iPhone is still not turning on. You try to press the power button, but the iPhone gives you no response. The screen doesn't turn on and no Apple logo comes up at all. If this is your case, keep watching and we'll show you how to fix iPhone not turning on issues. First, let's quickly go through some scenarios that most users in the Apple discussions community might encounter when iPhone doesn't turn on correctly. iPhone turns off all of a sudden and then won't turn on at all. It went completely black without you doing anything to destroy it and stayed unresponsive. Plug iPhone into a charger, but find iPhone not turning on or charging. Sometimes, you might find it stays on the charging logo for a long time. Every once in a while, it'll change back to the Apple logo and then die again while it's on a charger. It doesn't power on, but just remains on the charging logo on the black screen. The screen doesn't power on but you know the iPhone is on because you can still feel the vibration, hear the sound, or see the edge light. iPhone won't turn on after the iOS update. The phone went black and just stayed on the loading screen without booting up to the home screen iPhone becomes stuck on the boot up screen when you turn it on. It seems like it never plans to turn on past the Apple logo and complete the startup process. iPhone has turned off in the middle of the night and won't turn on in the morning even after overnight charging. It is not recognized by the computer it is connected to. You threw your phone in the floor. There's no cracks but iPhone has been dead for hours. It has been on the charger the whole time but won't turn back on our charger. Next, Take a look at the common reasons why your iPhone screen goes black and won't turn on at all. Dead battery. The iPhone may not turn on if the battery is completely drained or the battery itself needs to be replaced. Charging issue. The charging cable or port may be damaged, preventing the iPhone from charging and getting enough power to switch on. Software issue. A software glitch, such as a crash or freeze, may be preventing the iPhone from turning on properly. Hardware issue. A hardware component, such as the power button or logic board, may be damaged or malfunctioning. Water damage. If the iPhone has been exposed to water or moisture, it may not turn on. Jailbreak issue. If the iPhone has been jailbroken, a software modification may be preventing it from turning on. Overheating. If the iPhone gets too hot, it may shut down to prevent damage. iOS update issue. An iOS update may have caused a problem that prevents the iPhone from turning on. Physical damage. If the iPhone has been dropped or otherwise physically damaged, it may not turn on. SIM card issue. A faulty SIM card or SIM card slot may prevent the iPhone from turning on. Now, follow me to try each iPhone won't turn on fix in the following to solve all kinds of potential issues. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step, making it easy to learn how to fix an iPhone that won't turn on by yourself. Besides, if you have any questions about attempting these tricks to turn on your iPhone, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. The first fix is to force restart your iPhone. If your iPhone battery has enough power, but the iPhone screen is black and won't turn on, try to force restart the device. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. By performing a force restart, you're essentially giving your iPhone a fresh start even when it doesn't turn on properly. This can help to clear any software glitches or errors that may be preventing the iPhone from powering on. As you can see, my iPhone turns on successfully without data loss and works smoothly. If your phone doesn't turn on after force restart, try the next trick. The second fix is to charge your iPhone. What triggers an iPhone to turn on normally? Obviously, enough battery power. Prepare a genuine Apple USB cable and power adapter to charge your iPhone. Connect the USB cable to the power adapter. Plug the power adapter into a wall outlet. 
Connect the other end of the USB cable to your iPhone. If your iPhone has enough charge left, you may see the battery icon on the screen with a lightning bolt next to it. This indicates that your iPhone is charging. If your iPhone's battery is completely drained, the screen may remain black even when it's connected to a power source. This is normal, and you should wait at least 15 to 30 minutes to see if your iPhone starts charging. If your iPhone won't charge or turn on, there are a few things you can try to troubleshoot the issue. First, make sure that your charging cable and power adapter are not damaged or frayed. Try using a different cable and adapter to see if that solves the problem. Next, clean your charging port. Sometimes, dirt or debris can accumulate in the charging port of your iPhone, preventing it from charging. Use a soft bristled brush or toothbrush to gently clean out any debris. Be careful not to damage the port or any of the components inside. Then, force restart your iPhone while plugging the device into a charger. Follow the on-screen steps to force turn on your iPhone. If everything works fine, you can turn on your iPhone successfully and use it as normal. The third fix is to take out a SIM card. That iPhone screen is black and won't turn on can be the result of a stuck SIM card. Use a SIM ejector tool or a paperclip to manually eject the SIM card tray. Here's how. The location of the SIM card tray depends on the model of your iPhone. For most models, the SIM card tray is located on the right side of the device. Insert the SIM ejector tool or paperclip into the small hole next to the SIM card tray. Gently press the tool into the hole until the SIM card tray pops out. Carefully remove the SIM card from the tray. Once you have removed the SIM card, gently push the tray back into the iPhone until it clicks into place. Then, Force restart your iPhone while plugging the device into a charger. Follow the on-screen steps to force turn on your iPhone. Your iPhone can turn on quickly after removing the SIM card if it's the cause for the not powering on issue. The fourth fix is to remove the screen protector and phone case. A screen protector and a phone case can make the power button or the touch screen not working properly, leading to the issue that iPhone won't switch on. To remove the screen protector, start at one corner and gently peel it off. Try to avoid using any sharp objects that could scratch your iPhone. To remove the screen protector, start at one corner and work your way around the edge of the case, being careful not to scratch your iPhone. Then, force restart your iPhone while plugging the device into a charger and see if your iPhone turns on now. The fifth fix is to update the iPhone using a computer. To update your iPhone using recovery mode when it won't turn on, you can follow these steps. Use a lightning cable to connect your iPhone to a computer that has the latest version of iTunes installed. Depending on your iPhone model, you'll need to follow different steps to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version. iTunes will download the necessary software and install it on your iPhone. This process may take some time, so ensure that your computer remains connected to a stable internet connection. After the update is complete, your iPhone should restart and turn on. Swipe it up and it's now responding to your touch. The sixth fix is to factory reset iPhone using a computer. iPhone cannot turn on after the update? Try to delete everything on your iPhone and reset it. To factory reset your iPhone using recovery mode when it won't turn on, you can follow these steps. Use a lightning cable to connect your iPhone to a computer that has the latest version of iTunes or Finder installed. Depending on your iPhone model, you'll need to follow different steps to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side, or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the restore option to erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. Wait for the restore process to complete.
Maybe one hour. Maybe three hours. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart and prompt you to go through the initial setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device. Note that restoring your iPhone in recovery mode will erase all data and settings on your device. So make sure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding with this method. Remember that restoring your iPhone using recovery mode should only be used as a last resort when other troubleshooting methods have failed. If you encounter any issues during the restore process or need further assistance, contact Apple support for help. The seventh fix is to ask help from an Apple technician. iPhone won't turn on at all after water damage, because of broken power button, after overheating, and so on. Get help from an Apple technician. Visit the Apple support website https colon slash slash support dot apple dot com slash on your computer or another device. You can also contact Apple support by phone if you want to go to the Apple Repair Center in person. Make sure to make an appointment first. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that won't turn on. We sincerely hope that the troubleshooting steps we've shared have been effective in resolving your issue. Remember, if you ever encounter any issues with your iPhone or any other device, don't hesitate to seek help in Cora Radar. There are plenty of video resources available to you. We hope that this video has been helpful in guiding you through the troubleshooting process. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back to working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.